Welcome to our service for the sixth Sunday of the Easter season, the Sunday that ends Christian Aid Week, the Sunday that should have been General Assembly Sunday. Our reader today is Debbie Stafford, an elder in Abernite Church. Debbie teaches pharmacists, indeed develops their training, but during the present crisis she has been doing more frontline work than usual. She's also one of the trained elders who provide services in our charge and she normally preaches every few weeks when we have more buildings to reach in normal time than I can manage alone. The pictures to accompany our readings and prayers are views of the Millennium Window in Inch Tour Church, which you'll remember was mentioned by Brenda in her sermon a few weeks ago. It was designed by Sepp Woch and installed in 2000. We'll see the window as a whole and the depiction of the four seasons guarded by angelic figures surrounding the central cross. And during the blessing at the end, we'll see the wild goose the Celtic symbol of the Holy Spirit. This poetic reflection was written by the Reverend Leslie Stewart, who heads up the section of the church's administration that recruits potential new ministers and cares pastorally for existing ministers in our times of stress, grief or illness. It's called a new normal. Every normal was once new. It did not arrive, but came to be. Time and tide, call and creativity, all played their part in where we arrived, in this life in God, which we called normal. And what of Christ, our hope, our strength, whose normal once was family life, learning carpenter's ways, did he welcome his call and challenge, this change to all he knew? Did he also feel loss, longing for the familiar even while bringing life? And one day our new normal, still becoming, will also bring new hope, new ways to be. Things will change again and always. For life and faith never stand still. God is making all things new, even what is normal. Let us worship God. <laughs> 